In this video, I'm going to make the case as to why having a strong social media presence is not just a good but an amazing thing for men. I know this goes against everyone else's advice in the self-improvement space, but I want you to really hear me out before you tear me to shreds in the comments. Social media is an amazing tool because it allows you to control how people perceive you. That's right, control. You get to curate the image you present to the world. You're the author of your own story. So why would you want to let go of such a powerful tool? Firstly, let's address the most common argument against social media. It's superficial. Sure, a lot of it can be, but you know what else is superficial? First impressions, job interviews, and dating. Life is full of superficial moments where you have a very short time to make an impact. Social media can be your portfolio, a collection of your best moments, ideas, and achievements that help you make a great first impression. Ask yourself why all your favorite self-improvement gurus spout deleting social media. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge. But at the same time, want you to follow them on everything. Clout is a very powerful thing, especially in modern society. The reasons why people list for getting rid of social media are usually BS too. You won't become a millionaire if you cut out your TikTok time while lying in bed. You're not going to become a productivity god all of a sudden. The truth is, most people that hate social media hate it because of a few reasons. You don't have enough of an interesting life to post about. You don't need to be James Bond to have a cool Instagram. Sometimes the most mundane and relatable things are worth sharing, like your morning coffee or the walk to the gym. It might even force you to get out more if you make a deal with yourself to post at least a few interesting stories per week. They don't have enough of a social circle. If you don't have enough of a social circle to interact with online, it makes the experience feel isolating rather than connecting. Rather than trying to forge connections in person and add people to your socials, you want to dismiss it altogether because it takes effort to actually build connections. The irony is that social media can actually be a gateway to expanding your social circle, both online and offline. Engaging in communities that interest you can forge new relationships and deepen existing ones. If you join our Discord, we have a section on how to build an interesting Instagram and also like-minded people where you can follow each other for more engagement. It's not just about flaunting your flashy lifestyle. It can be about genuine connections and meaningful interactions. And finally, they're afraid of wasting time. Anything can be a waste of time if you let it be. The key is to use social media purposefully. Curate your feed, post updates, or engage with your network. Make it a supplement to your life, not the focal point. How social media can level you up. Social proof. Let's say you're on a dating app and a potential match is deciding whether to swipe right on you or even go on a date with you in general. Having a well curated social media profile can serve as social proof that you're a normal, interesting person. When a potential date looks you up and sees pictures of you engaging in hobbies, hanging out with friends, and generally living an enjoyable life, it immediately adds a layer of trust and attractiveness. Personal branding. Believe it or not, we're all brands in the making. How you present yourself on social media can serve as your personal branding, which isn't just beneficial in a corporate context. Personal branding can help you in relationships, friendships, and even your sense of self-worth. Think about it. If you're consciously crafting a narrative about who you are, you're more likely to act consistently with that narrative. That's not being fake. That's being focused. Share your knowledge and learn. One of the best ways to engage with social media is by acquiring knowledge from other people and also sharing your own. How do you think this channel got started? Since starting this channel, I've learned a ton of new invaluable skills. I've also learned how to express my thoughts more concisely and clearly. Overall, social media, whether you like it or not, is an absolute necessity if you don't want to hinder yourself socially. For example, in this Reddit thread called How Important Is Social Media Nowadays to Have a Social Life, these comments absolutely hit the nail on the head. From a lot of conversations I've had, a large majority of people, especially women, will peruse your IG to get an idea of who you are and how fun you are, so I definitely feel it has a large impact of how you will be treated and viewed. It's a harsh reality, but it's something I've come to accept only very recently. Everyone lives on their phones, and social media is the primary obsession that everyone has. There is no way around this besides creating an interesting IG feed. It only takes a few photos of you at the beach, doing an activity, holding a drink with a group of friends, and a photo of you at the gym to make you be totally accepted and seemingly valuable. 
so it's not too much effort. With that said, there can absolutely be downsides to too much social media consumption, but it's all about engaging with it in a healthy manner and extracting as many positives as you can, not just outright dismissing it. Make sure to join our Discord for guides on how to build up your own socials.